two almost robotically identical crashes are under investigation because artificial intelligence is the suspected link. Can you spot a fatal flaw in Tesla's autopilot? Eight cameras enable this car to see. Both crashes occurred on straight highway, so we'll consider the narrow forward-facing camera and its 250 meter range. If the bike was going 65 and the Tesla 80, that equates to 37 seconds of reaction time. Maybe our closing speed was faster, but regardless, the computer had enough processing time by an order of magnitude. Meaning autopilot decided this is not a problem, this is not a problem, this is not a problem, this is not a problem until... See, our brains can tell a motorcycle from a car, from a stop sign. These human farmed data sets are fed to computer vision programs until they too learn to label videos. And Tesla vision is nothing more than more. And Tesla has billions of dash cam minutes. They sample millions of sketchy moments, which humans label and teach to AI. And that runs in shadow mode on your next drive, making a few more questionable decisions, which are corrected and relearned again and again through seven modes of refinement. But it's still just labeling. This is a motorcycle up close. This is a car far away. This is a problem. This is not. Now remember, our crashes happened at night, so AI can't see his body. And they were on empty highways, so we have few linear perspective cues. And both motorcycles were cruisers with low taillights. My theory is that all the computer saw was two glaring orbs, close together and close to the horizon. It labeled this a distant car, so it hit our imminent motorcycle. Of course, a human might make the same mistake. And statistically, AI is still said to be safer. But that is a dangerous misrepresentation. Elon's referring to autopilot crashes per million miles driven, but think about it. An autopilot is massively biased to highway use, and on highways, cars usually travel a long distance before smacking into things. Formulas exist for adjusting the highway advantage, and when you interpret the data responsibly, autopilot is sometimes more dangerous than driving without. A catastrophic distinction for a feature that is only meant to augment driver safety. But it's all the same in a sales spreadsheet. Never mind the salvation of mankind, maybe the world's richest car company is out to make money? Oh, I, I like money. Case in point, Tesla recently removed the radar that lived in here. So its computer can guess at distances based on parallax and what it thinks an object is, but the chilling truth is that your Tesla no longer knows the distance to anything. Not without radar, sending radio waves there and back again. It's a cost-saving deletion, both in parts and reputation. See, radar is all distance and no substance. It knows how far that mass is, but can't tell whether it's an overpass or an overturned truck. So the AI either has to ignore radar input or trust radar only to occasionally panic break for no reason. It's an embarrassing problem. And when we understand autopilot as a profit proposition, we can understand why Tesla buried that problem in the cheapest way possible. So actually three weeks ago, we started to ship cars that have no radar at all. So we've deleted the radar and we are driving on vision alone in these cars. And the reason we are doing this, I think is well expressed by Elon in this tweet. He's saying, uh, when radar and vision disagree, which one do you believe? Uh, vision has much more precision, so better to double down on vision than do sensor fusion. That is a reckless idea. Imagine I hire two artists to paint a picture of the road ahead and, uh-oh, they're different. 
And I guess I better throw one away so there's nothing left to contradict the other and that means I can drive, assuming it's correct. Hmm. And the only place that logic makes sense is in a profit-loss call. If Tesla really cared to solve the discrepancies between radar and vision, I expect they'd check with LiDAR. It's like a million tiny radars dotting a pointless map of accurate distances with definition. Such is the reason every autonomous giant fail-safes with LiDAR, except Tesla. LiDAR is, is a fool's errand, and, any, and anyone relying on LiDAR is doomed. <laughs> doomed. That statement only makes sense when I translate into dollars. LiDAR is expensive, it's ugly, it requires pre-made maps that are unscalable to market. Of course, money is not the party line. And Tesla would say that we drive with two eyes and our intelligence, so eight cameras and an artificial intelligence is all you need for autonomous driving. In theory, in the future, I agree. But Tesla is making billions selling future features to consumers today. And today, two motorcyclists are dead. Nobody wants to see a third. And Tesla least of all. So let's suggest three fixes to our three parties, starting with Tesla. Don't call it autopilot. Germany has banned the term as false advertising. California is trying to oust it as dangerously misleading. We all know selling an autopilot that requires drivers to be constantly piloting it is like selling a flamethrower that is not a flamethrower. It's willfully incendiary. Now to Tesla consumers, be skeptical. Any influencer can recognize that Elon Musk is an influencer. His genius is in saying the most compelling things, not the most true. So before you trust his take on autonomy, just know that autopilot is programmed to shut down one second before impact, so Who's the manslaughter charge going to stick to? And finally, to motorcyclists. Yours is the deadly serious responsibility, but it's also the most vague. Maybe when headlights loom behind, weave side to side, and your lateral motion will be wider than a faraway car. It should help the AI to gauge your distance. It's something, but I wish I had more.